Hey everybody, my name is Ted Petru, and I'm excited to announce the official release of Bar Chart Race. This is a Python package for creating animated bar chart races. So as you can see in front of you is a bar chart race where the bars smoothly transition from one place to another. So I created this package because bar chart races have become quite popular in the last year and there was no Python package to create bar chart races. So this is version uh, 0 0.1, first major release. And the rest of the video is gonna contain, you know, how to use bar chart race and uh, some of the uh, several different options that are available to customize the, uh, the race. Okay, so before we get to the actual races, you have to have data in a particular format. So number one, the data must be uh, within a pandas data frame. Number two, is that each row must represent a single time period. So bar chart race comes with some sample data and this is the COVID-19 tutorial data set where we have several countries and um, over the course of 10 days. So each day represents is one single row and uh, the deaths for each country are in each column. So it has to, the data format has to be like this. Optionally, you can have the you know, time period in the index. So um, in this case, we have the date in the index. Okay, so if, you're, if your data is in this format, you can immediately pass it to bar chart race and you will get, um, you will get an animation returned to you. So you just pass your data frame in to bar chart race. So there's one function that bar chart race exposes uh, called bar chart race. And if you're in a Jupyter notebook, it will return the animation uh, embedded within the notebook. So yes, you just pass in the data frame and it will create the bar chart race. It'll use the period as the index and the bars will transition smoothly from one you know, rank to another. You can create vertical bar chart races with the orientation parameter like this. You can change the order of the bars by changing sort to ascending. So by default, they go in descending order, but you can change that. You can limit the number of bars with the end bars parameter. And when you do this, if there are more bars, um, whenever, if the lowest bar gets overtaken, it will just simply fall off the screen and be replaced by another bar. You don't have to have the bars change order. In fact, uh, using the fixed order parameter, so you can give it a list of, you know, exactly the ones you wanna use and they'll stay in that particular order. You can also fix the maximum value. So there's no need for the top bar to always go up against the end. This will prevent the, you know, the X axis from you know, moving like it does over here. Uh, it'll uh, remain fixed for the entire duration. You can change the smoothness of the bar chart race. So you can uh, use more steps per period than by the default, which is 10. So, um, you know, there's 10 frames of, for each time period by default. Here we use 20, and we also uh, set the period length to 200 milliseconds. By default, it's 500. So it goes from half a second to a fifth of a second, which is why it's moving faster. By default, the time period will be put as a label. And instead of just using it for the in all of the frames, you can actually interpolate the period and it will put all the intermediate values there instead. So here, we just set interpolate period to true and we get um, this expanded label down here. So bar chart race uses matplotlib to do all the underlying animations. And you can use different properties that you know about matplotlib to customize the plot. So here we uh, you know, use some different properties and we get uh, you know, slightly different uh, you know, uh, view. You can also change the bar properties using uh, matplotlib arguments again to change um, the bars. So if you know matplotlib, you can you know uh, get a lot more out of this package. You can format the time period. So by default, it's going to just display whatever is in the index. But if you know like date directives, for instance, you can use those to give um, you know a nicer format for the time period. You can use a string format. It's also an option. You can add a custom label to the plot. In this case, I just summarize the total number of deaths per time period and add it as a completely new label to the plot. I, you have to use a custom function here to do that. 
And lastly, the last option that I'm gonna show is you can add a perpendicular line um, and you can place it by using a custom function here. We are using the 90th percentile um, and that's where the line is. So those are just some of the options that are available to you in Bar Chart Race. If you wanna see all of the options in a longer tutorial, you can go over to the documentation. I'll have a link of this in the description. And if you click on tutorial, you'll see a lot more uh, options and examples on how to use bar chart race. So that's the, uh, that's the official release. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you uh, have suggestions about, you know, how to make bar chart race better, or if you found any bugs, please report them on GitHub. So thank you um, again for tuning in and hopefully that gives you a good overview of what bar chart race is and what it can do.